opinion, the, the biggest threat to business is employees' personal digital space. Like I assess and analyze that horrible gray area in between businesses' technical infrastructure and physical infrastructure. And I sit somewhere in the middle there lurking around finding the vulnerabilities. And I'm I'm seeing a huge increase in attackers targeting the people and not the technical infrastructure of the company. Um, and I guess it's all about the lane of least resistance for an attacker. And we, we upload and share an enormous amount of information online every day. And you know, even without realizing it, for example, leaving a Google review is identifiable by an attacker and provides a really good opportunity to socially engineer you uh, and get you to click on that, a link download a voucher onto your system, believe that phone call or whatever that approach might be from the attacker. Um, essentially, the, the more you post online, the more services you subscribe to, the easier you are to trick. It boils down to trickery. If an attacker knows you intimately online, they'll be able to trick you. It's that simple. I think the really shocking thing is that the way that companies get breached, the way that people get in the door, really hasn't fundamentally changed in the 25 years I've been doing this. Um, people are still not building systems properly. They're still not maintaining them properly. They're still not uh, doing asset inventory. They're not patching properly. They have poor processes. They have a lack of consistency in processes. And that's, that's what basically, you're basically living in a house with a thousand doors and a thousand windows and some of them are constantly being left open and that's how people get in and then set off things like ransomware and that kind of thing so the for small businesses it's quite tricky but for large businesses and organizations it's definitely get a holistic and business aligned security approach we've seen a massive increase with regard to phishing attacks are really preying on people's fears and emotions. So they pretend to be your bank, they might pretend to be offering a vaccine or just to offering support, they might pretend to be a charity um, and those type of things. And it's really trying to get you to fool you into a false sense of security almost to try to get you to either give up credentials or click on links, those type of things. And those links can then lead to malware uh, and those type of things into your systems. But we've also seen a massive increase with regards to ransomware, um, and that's specifically targeting healthcare, critical infrastructure. I think what's been interesting to us is there's almost no company is out of bounds. So with their small, large enterprises, these frontline services, and, and even to us, it was quite shocking that we found surely in the middle of a pandemic, you wouldn't attack a hospital, you wouldn't attack the emergency services, but they did. If you start with the premise that cyberspace is an insecure medium, it's a dodgy place to be, you know, all those comments about if you will get hacked, you, you, you will get hacked, it's a certainty. Um, therefore, once you start with that line, don't you know, minimise your presence on the, on the web. Minimize your exposure. Don't go blagging about yourself unless you really have to. Now, I know that works against advertising, but be aware that the more you put yourself out there in the public space, the more you're setting yourself up as a target. Uh, and so like that first top tip is minimize your exposure and realize that when you're on the net, uh, you are vulnerable and make sure that everybody doesn't trade their privacy for convenience, because that's what we've all tend to have done. Businesses today are adopting new technologies faster than they learn how to secure them. And whether it's cl the cloud or IoT or blockchain or presently artificial intelligence, there's always a rush to adopt this new technology because of the promise of the features that it, uh, that it can bring, which is, of course, wonderful, and we should be doing that. However, rushing into adopting that technology before learning how to secure it is doing nothing more than just expanding the attack surface and putting the businesses and their customers more at risk. People need to understand why companies collect data. So many of these services that we use, whether it's Google or Facebook, they're providing what seems to be a free service. You have to remember though, that if you're not paying for a product, you're the product. They're collecting your personal information. That's how they're making money. They're using that personal information to target ads, uh, advertisements specifically at you. 
a lot of things have to change. Uh, the laws have changed. Uh, the GDPR law in the European Union has spread around the world. Individuals need to retain control of their own personal information. Understand where are all of your digital assets? In so many cases, I see security incidents that happen because the criminals know the network more intimately than the organization. They understand where all the open holes and vulnerabilities are. They know how to trick your employees into clicking on the link or installing an application. So understand how does your network look? What's your digital footprint? It starts with knowledge. It starts with really being insightful and knowledgeable about your environment because you don't want the criminals to know more about your environment than you.